Hey YouTube friends, uh, I'm going to make this shorter video just to show a little issue I ran into on the K2 board that I'd like to just point out to other people if they look at these videos and build this after me because I wish I would have fixed this sooner. And they don't mention it in the manual and I don't know why. I think it's a bit of a fail on that part, on their part. The, the, the manual is excellent and they cover so much, but anyhow. This is the um, the PA section for the output for the transmitter. And um, you put in this big binocular toroid. And right underneath it, you can see two leads sticking up. And that's why I'm starting here to show you. See these two leads? That's the bottom of a capacitor. I'm going to flip this board over and show you where I'm, what I'm talking about. I'll be back. All right, this is the case in question. These are the two PA transistors, your output transistors, your finals, I guess you would call them, technically. Um, on the bottom of this board, they tell you as you're building it to take any of these higher capacitors, these yellow ones, this red one, these blue ones, and bend them over so they're not going to hit the bottom of the, of the heat sink and the bottom cover when they cover this because they have to screw down level to these... Um, to these. Well, right, I had bent this one over, of course, just like all the other ones. You see the blue one bent over, and you can see the yellow one. Well, the yellow one, as you can see where it is, I'm off camera, you can't bend it over because it's between the PA transistor and the standoff for the heat sink. Well, I think it's pretty obvious it's sticking up too darn high. Look at that. Now, I did not try to get that as flush to the board as I could when I first put it in because I thought I was going to leave it bent over because that's what they tell you. Not realizing that once I put in the transistor, this sucker is going to be sticking up too high. So what you really have to do, and I'm going to have to do this in a very difficult manner, but I'll manage it, is if you look at the bottom of that capacitor, you can see some leads sticking up above the board. It could be in further. So now I got to get it out of there and bend the leads a bit wider and jam it down really flush against the board so the top of that cap is flush with the top of this PA transistor. Because you put a heat sink on this transistor on both of these. You put a, you put a pad on this and the heat sink goes on it and then you screw it all down and it's got to be flush metal to metal. You're not going to get any heat sinking properties. This is way too high. So I ha the leads I showed you on the other side, I have to solder wick them out of there from underneath that bin binocular core, which I wouldn't have put in had I known this, but I didn't know it until after the binocular core was installed. Because you, you don't put these in in the book until after you put the binocular core in. So guess what? Once you put that core in, it's very difficult to get to the bottom of this, this capacitor leads to take it out. So now i got to mess around, unsolder this thing, from under that core, where I showed you the leads on the other side, get it as flush as possible, and then solder it back down again. Not fun. That's one fail I did find, in, the, and I do not think it's mentioned in the manual that I remember um, when I put these that cap in. I, they pretty much tell you, bend them over. That's that's kind of the advice they give you. There's On this thing, they tell you, make sure this resistor's pushed down inside. Um, but they do not mention the fact that this does not have to be, has to be straight up and down because you can't, there's nowhere to bend it over. <laughs> it's, it's jammed between the PA transistor and the standoff. Anyway, I wanted to point that out because I know a couple of people were asking like, well, have you had any problems with it? And I'm happy to share them. So if people build behind me, they don't have to be frustrated like this <laughs> as I am at the moment. Thanks for watching, 73. All right, uh, I am back and I have it in place at the moment. Um, I did get it out. It took a lot of work. I had to use solder wick on one so under that binocular core and just very patiently work away at it until I got the solder off. And then I, I have a pair of hemostats, well, better known as a Kelly clamp. I'm, I'm a nurse, so I get these things from work. Um, you uh, And clip that onto the capacitor and pulled it out while heating it and I got it out. 
Now what I have done, and this is not probably recommended by Ellacraft, but I did do it. Um, I took, and I, I, you can probably tell the top of that cap, if I can focus, the phone will focus. Looks a little rough because I sanded it flat. The, um, and I know they tell you not to do that because you can break through the, you know, the coating and into the capacitor itself. But if you look at these caps, these yellow caps closely, and I, I don't know if I'll get it on camera. Where's one? There's one. Um, it's got like a bubble at the top. It kind of peaks up in the middle of that plastic coating. So I sanded it flat. I mean, and you can see the, it's translucent. You can see the capacitor inside there. You don't want to sand into that. Um, but I sanded it flat. I, I readjusted the leads and I pushed it down tight and now it's flush. I would just say if you build one of these before you put, well when you put that capacitor in, and by the way that is C135, um, make sure you get it f flat as possible right tight to the board as tight to the board as you possibly can. Um, and if you had it super tight to the board, you might not have to sand it. I just did it as an extra precaution because I want to have it nice and flat. And I doubt Ellicraft would tell you to do that, and it's not in the book, I can tell you that. But um, that's what I ended up doing. And now I'm going to solder it back in. And, and I've reached the point now where I've I finished the radio, basically, the basic radio without any options. Um, after I put this, I put the heat, I put this all back together, and we're going to start doing some more testing and aligning on it. And I'm going to videotape some of that. But I just wanted to point that uh, little problem I ran into out. Thanks for watching. 73.